Hello, uh, today I would like to share you some of my experiences with my new printer uh, Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon so uh, uh, to briefly uh, tell you about my work uh, I design uh, transforming figures so uh, this figure is based on an old comic uh, old Transformers comic from the 80s, 90s and uh, the figure on the left was made on my old printer, which and uh, that old printer is Zortrax M200, the first version, and I used that printer to print most of my work and to tweak tolerances, stuff like this. And the one on the right was made on the Bamboo Lab. So uh, I would like to share my experiences and uh, and I would also like to ask some questions from the other users because. Uh, for a long time I felt, felt that I am limited by the Zortrax one because it's a very close system so I did not have I wasn't exposed to all the options and all the different uh, ways that the slicers work so I choose uh, the Bambula printer because it has a more like common slicer and this is the one of the first figures I made so I use exactly the same files, the same materials, uh, only uh, the windows and those white parts here were made on Zortrax because I didn't reprint the windows. And the way I design my figures is that I leave uh, often leave some parts, f uh, like openings from some inserts for tweaking. So for example, on this forearm, if you open it, there are pockets here, as you can see, for like two two small inserts that that can help with uh, tweaking of the uh, the tolerances. So without it, the fist was very loose. But because I, I was able to make them thicker, it now uh, holds in place. But as you can see, the shoulders are very loose. So this one was made on the uh, basic bamboo. ABS. Uh, I I changed the settings to 235 uh, degrees because I use mostly use Devil Design ABS and it prints in that way. And this was like the standard. The uh, the the correct name of the preset is if I can double check. It's zero two millimeter standard so this was done in standard and as you can see it's very loose this one also was done in standard uh, then I moved to the preset called 0 200 uh, strong so this one was made using this preset but uh, the first attempts were loose so I increased the outer walls no I increased the wall loops to about 8 so uh, this this helped me to gain like more thickness, and right now, as you can see, this one it's very stiff. It's I don't know I c I can't hold him by the leg, but it holds the pose very well. And this one is okay. There is some problem with the shoulders, but the legs are holding. So uh, I was man I managed to this one is very loose. Managed to do that thanks to that setting, but unfortunately. And here are some of my problems. As you can see, it's hard to show on camera, but I will do my best. So, if you look at those two parts, the one on the right, the one on the left is very like geometric, and the one on the left has like soft edges, and the the surfaces are not even, are not flat. They are like collapsed on on themselves. So this is very geometric, very sharp angles and this is not so and mo like also on this part here as you can see this is very like even lines and this is like slightly warp so I suspect that this may be because uh, for one the speed is very fast because this one on the right printed three times as fast as the, this one so this is major uh, but also the, the table as you can see it's a bit wobbly and I suspect that this may cause some distortion so I can do that so I can lower the speed I can 
get rid of the wobble by changing the table or putting the printer on the ground but I have a big problem and the problem is with the uh, bottom layers so when I increased the while loops it, it gave me that thickness but it eliminated any like structure in the bottom layer so I'm trying to as you can see here uh, the one on the right is uh, Bumble Up, the one on the left is uh, Zortrax. So as you can see, the Bumble Up doesn't have this like structure. All all it has is those walls, and I'm unable to uh, uh, to tweak those like bottom layer settings. And I am not sure uh, what's causing it. So uh, I tried using the slicer, and as you can see, this is also a bottom layer here and on the Zortrax this one looks different and I may be able to show you on a different part that I printed so and let me just get it uh, so those two parts were printing on Zortrax and this was the orientation so this is how the bottom layer looks like this and this and this is what I want because it's very solid and on this is uh, like a um, stand, uh, standard setting for uh, bamboo. So as you can see, this the surface here is like it's very uneven. Also over here, it's it lacks this this like precision. Come on, focus. Okay, so for re some reason it's hard for me to focus. So as you can see on the left we have this like precision on the bottom layer on the right it's like very unprecise and when I try to increase the walls it's even worse because when I increase the wall loops this this the bottom layer is missing and also in the slicer uh, I couldn't I couldn't do any setting that adjusted the the lower the bottom layer and I'm not sure why and this is this is the cr the problem that I have right now and I'm trying to find the solution to make it work on the slicer so the this is my first impression it works very fast but uh, help me <laughs> do something with the lower layer so uh, if you're interested in some of my other designs I will leave a link on the bottom and I'm eager to hear your opinions and stories and if you know a solution for the bottom layer uh, please let me know or oh, and if you know what are the hidden settings of the Zortrax external materials so I may try them here because um, the the Zortrax software is like very hidden a lot of options are uh, not shown they are like built in and you can maybe extract them from the G codes, but uh, but here you can set everything. So I would like to I like to have this like precise uh, look on, on this figure. So uh, the like I said to recap, first thing I will do I will uh, find a more stable surface. I will lower the speed, but I still think that that lower layer uh, because it plays a lot of uh, important role in, in stiffness from some parts because that's the part that affects friction on some parts because at least one of those sides that the bo that's the bottom layer uh, like is rubbing against another so so I still need to work that out and I hope that uh, some of you will help me uh, do that so thank you and uh, see you at the next update